Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and today I am coming to you live from my empty dining room to teach you the 10 basic moves in burlesque. Yes, there are 10, count them, 10 basic burlesque moves that every dancer uses in almost every single routine, and I am going to teach them to you today so that you can put together a fabulous burlesque act. As a former competition dancer, dance teacher, and current burlesque performer and reigning queen of Kansas City Burlesque, I am so excited to share these moves with you. So without further ado, let's get started. 10 basic burlesque dance moves. Oh, but I forgot, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend, share it with a burlesque friend, share it with a non-burlesque friend, anybody who's gonna wanna put together a burlesque routine at some point. The first step that all burlesque dancers absolutely need to know is the showgirl stance, AKA the bevel. The bevel works like this. One foot is perpendicular to the other. You are tucked underneath, you are sucked in front, not for vanity, but because we are dancers and we're always lifted and strong with a tight core. And this is what we call a bevel or a showgirl stance. Most girls will start with either their hands on their hips, at their side, you can throw it up, you can throw it down. It doesn't matter, this is your showgirl stance. Basic burlesque move number two is the bounce. Now this can be done two ways either with your feet in bevel or your feet apart in second position. You wanna take and you wanna sit in your right hip and just bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's try it on the left side. Switch and bounce, 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 bounce. Good, let's try it in bevel. Remember one foot is perpendicular to the other. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands on my hips and I'm going to bounce into my standing leg, which is my left leg. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's try it on the right side. Right foot is now the standing leg. Bounce, 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 bounce. Very good. Easy squeeze, right? All right, so burlesque move number three is really, really easy. Everybody already probably knows how to do this and that is the shimmy. The shimmy is just a shaking of the upper body. I like to think of it in burlesque as the shaking of the titties, because eventually the shimmy becomes a tassel twirl. So in order for you to shimmy, all you have to do is switch your shoulders back and forth. One, two, three, four, speed it up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, shimmy. That's it. There's so many different variations of the shimmy. Go with it, girl. Do your thing. All right, now the next burlesque move that you need to know is the bump. The bump is very similar to the bounce in that it does involve the hips, but the bounce goes down, the bump goes side. So here we go. We're gonna try a bump to the left, bump, and a bump to the right. Bump, and a bump to the left, and up up to the right. Got it? You wanna push those hips out. Almost like your best reference that I've ever heard was Honey Coco Bordeaux, who says that the bump is just like popping the car door closed with your side. When you do the booty bump with your friends at the party, right? You still wanna remain lifted when you're doing all of this. You wanna keep those shoulders back, you wanna keep that core, Sucked in, you wanna keep that big booty tucked under. I know mine always sticks out, it's just, it's just always there, it's like its own entity. But I try to keep it as tucked and as sucked as I possibly can while I'm doing all of this. Always remaining lifted, keeping our arms and shoulders activated, your whole body is always dancing. So you need to remain active in your face, you need to remain active in your arms, and active in the rest of your body. We're working, we're thinking dancers, all right? Pop that ass. So my absolute favorite move is probably the grind, and that's what we're gonna learn next. So when you do the grind, you're basically just grinding the coffee with your hips. That's it, nothing special. So we're gonna start to the right. I like to put my hands on my hips just to guide it. And then you can do it to the left. So many different variations of the grind that you can do. You can do it with one foot out front. Other foot. Ooh. Add an arm. 
give it to them. There are so many ways that you can grind. God, why am I so extra? The next two moves that we're gonna talk about are basic walks that burlesque dancers use. And there's two different types. There's the showgirl walk and there's the jazz walk. We're gonna start with the showgirl walk. The showgirl walk is very fluid. It's very breezy. But with the showgirl walk, our arms are gonna start out. You want your shoulders dropped and your head up and your arms are going to do a nice S motion. Nice and pretty, smooth through the hands, both sides. Now, we're going to add the feet. When we walk with the feet, the feet are going to step right, step across, step out, step across, step out, step across, step out, right, you got it? Arms up, step out, step across, step out, step across. Step out, step across. We usually use the showgirl walk when we're trying to show off our costume at the very beginning of the act. Can be really excited about the sparkly rhinestone shit that you put on, that you put on. Sometimes you do it in the middle of the act because you want to calm down, because you've been doing a lot. It's up to you on how you want to use it. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the other side. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to give yourself long lines on stage. I don't know if you guys know how important it is to be long and tall on stage. It looks so good. The next style of dancer walk that you're gonna wanna learn is the jazz walk. Now the jazz walk is a lot stronger, more hard hitting, more fierce, it's aggressive. The girl walk. So when you jazz walk, on relevé, and you're going to stay on relevé. I hate when girls be walking on the stage like this. That shit's not sexy. Stand up straight, get on relevé, and let's walk. get a nice swivel in your hips going. You want to get those shoulders back. You want to project those titties forward. You want to make yourself look as alarmingly gorgeous as you possibly can. And that includes the entire body. So let's try this one more time. We're walking five, six, seven, eight. Walk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry guys, I got a little hungry while I was filming. <laughs> we're gonna learn is the leg down hair flip. Everybody does this in every heels video that you've ever seen. You'll probably see it in every single burlesque video that you see on YouTube. Super easy. You put your leg down, you slide down your leg. You let your hair fall over itself. And then you flick it back up. Easy. It's like the bend and snap from Legally Blonde. Bend. We're getting close to the end, so don't shut the video off yet. We've got a couple more important moves that you need to build your basic burlesque routine. The next move that we're gonna learn is a simple three-step turn or a shenny. I'm gonna move over here to the left and we're gonna turn. Starting with the right foot. Step, step, step. Three-step turn. Try it again. Step, step, step. Just open it back up. Do the other side. on the list of basic burlesque moves is the body caress, which we've kind of already gone over in some of our other moves, but it's probably one of the biggest and best burlesque moves that you can use. And that's just to caress your own body. Make the audience want to see that part of your body, want to watch that part of your body, wherever it may be. Tell them where to put their attention 
with your hands. Your hands are probably the most useful part of your body when it comes to dancing, at least in burlesque dance, because they tell such a story. You can take the audience from where you want them to go with the slightest gesture of a hand. The final and probably most important burlesque move that you're ever going to use is your showgirl smile. I know it's so cheesy and I put it at the end because it is the most important thing that you have. You are not going to entrance an audience and you're not going to bring anybody into your act if you are Nobody wants to see that shit. I'm telling you right here, right now, nobody is going to pay their hard earned coin to watch you frown across the stage. Smile on stage, make a face, do something. Make eye contact with your audience, engage with your face. Probably the most important thing that you can do as a burlesque dancer to make a connection with your audience. Okay guys, now you know all 10 basic burlesque moves. Now you can take all of those in the order that I gave them to you and put a routine together right here, right now. Or you can take them out of order and put a routine together. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully it'll help you build your first burlesque routine. Maybe it's helping you get ready for your first burlesque class. I don't know, but hopefully it just helps. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm Vera Valentina giving you the best in burlesque beauty and booty here on YouTube. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hair tips, whatever you want to talk about, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I want to know what you want to see next. What you want to learn about burlesque, let me know. Until next time, bye.